Oh, it's hot. Woman, why you rush me in the morning? I ain't in no hurry. Well, I am. Well, slow down and watch the scenery. It'll be gone soon enough. Yeah, yeah, I can sit by myself. I don't need you to be fussing after me all the time. You need to be enjoying yourself instead of cleaning me up. I don't mind. Man, nursing all day, that's enough. Yeah, why shouldn't I care for the one person I love more than anyone on the planet? You're nicer to me than your grandma ever was. No, you didn't. Well, you do not get to talk about Flora like that. I said what I want about her. No, you won't. She cared for me when no one else would. Watched over me, sent me to nursing school. You know this. Yeah, I do. And don't be talking down on her. Oh, oh that woman gave me grief. Maybe she gave you what you deserved. Maybe. <laughs> Who's that? Hmm. A woman I met, Macy, she volunteered to pick up your meds for me. Maybe I misjudged her. What was all that ragged you were making here last night? None of your business. Oh, yeah, don't cause any trouble while I'm gone. All the much troubles I'm supposed to cause. You talking about none of my business. None of my business. Hey, it's your grandfather's prescription. Check that it's all right. Oh, thank you so much. I believe I owe you an apology. Yes. I apologize. Accept it. What are you doing here without your uniform? I am waiting. For what? On a preliminary hearing on sexual misconduct and obstruction of official hospital business. You? Oh, yeah, hard to believe, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's bullshit. I don't understand. Oh, there's nothing to understand. I didn't do anything wrong. Then why are you here? Because I'm a low woman on the totem pole. When doctors need a scapegoat, they look below. So that's where I come in. The nurse who cleans it up, and then when they screw up, I'm the one that gets blamed. Why? Because if doctors and nurses argue, guess who the hospital administrators believe? That's why I'm here. Got it. Is there anything I can do? I can tell them all to go to hell. Mm, okay. After that? <laughs> well, I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Maybe I'm growing one out of necessity. Oh, God. What did you do now? <laughs> I visited Carla. No, you didn't. What, what did you say? What happened? Well, she denied it. And you believe her? Yeah. Why? Oh, she said he wasn't her type, and then she went into detail about what her type was, which oh, was no, fascinating, a lot of detail. Oh, oh, Lord. So have you apologized to Jeff? No, not yet. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the whole Twilight Room thing. Maybe it all feels different now. Maybe it's true but for all of us, not just for Jeff. Or maybe it's just the end of the rainbow where dreams live and have their own magic. <laughs> I don't know, but something happened and I can't shake it. Make sense? It's oh yeah, very much so. It's my world. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with your hearing. They'd be fools to lose you for a day, a minute, or an hour. Oh, I appreciate that. And uh, you know, let's grab, let's grab a bite sometime. I think you're right. I think I need a friend. Me too. Thanks again. My pleasure. Well, I guess it's my time to shine. Nope. What? They're not even gonna hear me? Nope. That's insane. Maybe, but it's good for you. Why? Why is that? In the hearing, Yaniv said that he couldn't remember any of the details of his claim. Really? Yep. He said his memory is one big blank. Hello, ladies. Sorry for uh, any inconvenience I may have caused. <laughs> Fair said. Count backwards from 100 by sevens. 193. 
86, 79. <laughs> God, I feel good. You made it to 79. Top the class. You look good today. You're not too shabby yourself. Let's go. Flattery will get you everywhere. Mm -hmm.